Welcome back to the Wapler Virtual Academy. Today I'm going to be dealing with setting up a remote target within Wapler. So if you remember in an earlier session, we set up Wapler training and we've set up our local target. What we need to do now is set up a connection to the remote. We're going to be using the standard method. We'll be dealing with Docker later. So let's go to project settings. Our targets. give it our target name I'm just going to call this Wapler training and I'm just going to add the core UK on the end just so we can see the difference between the local connection that we set this is uh, an own server and I'm going to use an FTP to access it um, so I'll just pick FTP in this case the server is Correct that typo. FTP Wapler Training Core UK. We don't need to bother about the port. Remember, I said about FTP routes and FTPing into our web page directory. If you remember, when we set up the local one, our FTP routes sat, were pointed to Wapler Training Core UK. Um, and I said that within that there is a subdirectory public HTML where the web pages go. And it's important that we match that in our um, FTP settings so files are load, uploaded into the web route as opposed to the FTP route. So that's simple enough. We just add that directory in there. The user itself, um, I'm just going to do a copy and paste here because in this particular server your user is a domain name and <coughs> we'll set the password those of you who wonder what use active is um, there's two types of FTP generally passive and active um, unless you've got any particular reason to use active FTP I would leave that there uh, which effectively means it defaults to uh, passive Passive is a, a more, shall we say, um, polite protocol in that active tends to sort of force everything through where passive uses a little bit of negotiation, therefore things are working better. The only thing obviously I missed out at the top here is on the web, we actually need to know what the web server URL is. Oop, just put a space in there accidentally. We should be able to test that connection now and get a connection through. And there we are, see the connection's successful. Um, just before I move on, um, we obviously have different types of FTP access. Um, these particular services servers support FTP, SFTP and FTPS explicit. Um, I won't bore you with the, the technicalities of it other than to say that SFTP is more secure than FTP. FTPS implicit was a later development and explicit was a revision too, shall we say, of that. And that um, is the, probably the most secure of them all. So just to show you, if I was to change that to SFTP, we can still get a connection. And on we go. I'll just leave that for a moment at the SFTP for you. Um, no need for a key file for these particular servers. So I'm going to save that. And uh, only other thing I want to deal with is your standard frameworks, which I should really have dealt with in the last module. Um, you can set default frameworks to be added to each new page within your project. Um, I'm going to use Bootstrap CDN and I'm going to use obviously um, App Connect in all of the pages so I can add them in that means when we create a new page that will be added into them automatically so there we go that's uh, setting up our um, remote target within Wapler and uh, next I'll be dealing with uh, deployment via Docker <laughs>